Hey guys, this is Bharat and welcome to Bharat's Kitchen with Gobi Samosa. Well, it's not the gobi in the samosa which fascinates me, but it's these layers or these ridges which really amaze me. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin with it. Okay, so first we're gonna make the dough for the samosa. Now, if you've seen my aloo samosa video, you can skip this part and jump straight to two minute mark. Otherwise, just take some all-purpose flour or maida, and to this we're gonna first add some caram seeds or rajwine and some salt. Mix everything together properly and then add lots of oil. Make sure you combine the oil with the flour, otherwise your puff pastry will not work. So when you come to this stage, that is the flour seems to be a bit yellow in color and when you try to combine it, it comes together. That's when your flour is ready. Now make a well in the center and we're gonna add some water, that too in batches. Add the first batch and just try to combine the dough, don't knead it. Just combine it. Now add the second batch and again just combine it. Now add the third and the last installment of the water and that's it. Just knead the dough together and now it will start to combine. So just knead the dough a little bit but whatever you do make sure you have a hard dough. And finally, in order to develop gluten, you need to cover this dough with a damp cloth and let it rest for about 30 minutes. In the meanwhile, let's prepare the other stuff that we're gonna need. So first, you're gonna need some roughly diced potatoes. And yes, these are not boiled. Next comes in some cauliflower or gobi. I've just washed it properly and roughly chopped it, but don't chop it very fine. You can see how I've cut the florets in halves and quarters only. Further, you're gonna need some finely chopped ginger and some green chilies. And also some fresh chopped coriander. For the whole spice mix, you're gonna need some coriander seeds, some soft, and some jeera or cumin. Just coarsely crush them in your pestle and that's it. Now for the ground spice mix, you're gonna need some coriander powder, lots of amjur or mango powder. Further comes in some garam masala and finally for some heat, you're gonna need some bread chilli powder. In addition to all this, I'm also gonna add some roughly chopped cashews and raisins. Now it's totally optional, but it does enhance the flavor of the gobi stuffing. Okay, so now it's time to cook. So keep your pan or a kadai on a high flame and add some oil. First, we have to roast our crushed whole spice mix. And when that happens, add our gobi florets and some turmeric or haldi powder. You need to roast the gobi well over 5 minutes on a high flame as we want it to start to become a little soft. Alright, after 5 minutes, turn the flame to low and add our chopped ginger and green chilies. Then add the most crucial ingredient that is salt. You see, salt will help the cauliflower to release its moisture, which in turn will cook it faster. So cover with a lid and cook for 5 minutes on a low flame. Okay, now add our chopped potatoes and first roast them for 2 minutes and then again cover with a lid and cook it for 5 minutes more on a low flame. After the second time, you can see the gobi has started to release moisture and now things have started to become a little soft. So at this point, add some water, again cover it with a lid and cook until the potatoes and the cauliflower florets are soft, like this. Keep cooking on a low flame and finally add a ground spice mix and also the chopped cashews, raisins and the coriander some roasted jeera powder or cumin powder that's it 
mix everything together and your stuffing is ready. Let the stuffing cool down. And now it's time to check the dough. The important point which you can see is that when I press the dough, it starts to retract to its original position. So gluten has developed and it's really important for making a good samosa. Without gluten, the puff is actually incomplete. So anyways, you need to knead the dough for at least 2-3 minutes and then you're ready to make your samosas. Just take a dough ball and roll it into not a circle but actually a cylindrical circle. But anyways, you can see that it's a bit longer or higher on the sides and this actually makes a huge difference. I just divide the dough into semicircles, but I know what's the question in your mind. That is, how do we get that ridges, Bharat? Well, it's actually very simple. So first, you need to roll your samosa sheet a little thinner and second, you need to make insertions in one of the semicircles. Then apply some water on that semicircle and combine both of them together. And voila, you have a half moon. And now you can make your samosa normally. So apply some water on the edges. Pick it up from the corners and make sure you pinch the backbone of your samosa properly. And then you've got a cone. So add your stuffing generously, press it towards the end, make sure you pinch it properly from the bottom and voila! Amazing isn't it? Okay, if you want to make samosas properly, then you need to cook them on a low flame. Take a big kadai with some oil and when your oil is hot enough, add as much samosas as the kadai can fit comfortably. Do not cook one or two samosas only. You need to cook at least four or five together. As there will be proper heat distribution, it will make sure that they are cooked properly throughout. Make sure you keep stirring in the middle. So it will take you well over 15 minutes or maybe even 20 minutes. So fry them until they are golden brown or until they look like this. You can see how my samosa is cooked throughout. So there you go guys, how to make gobi samosas with those fascinating ridges. As always, you'll find all the list of ingredients and their measurements on my website. And yes, I've started a new Hindi channel, which will come a new video very quickly. Please wahan subscribe kare. do subscribe here as well and as always you'll find all the stuff that I used in the links given in the description bar down below and something new as well. Until then, I'll see you all next week.